The old mixed with the new. It can be seen in Havana in many of the classic and antique cars and in its old and historic buildings. Diplomatic relations eased with the island nation under the Obama administration with the reopening of the U.S. Embassy in Havana. And some, like my BC taxi driver, see only good things happening with a renewed U.S.-Cuba relationship. At the very least, prices will go down. When Obama came, they lowered the price of cooking oil, which was at two pesos. It's now at 98 cents. They seem to be lowering the price of food because it's expensive. But among the Cubans I spoke with, there's hope and a faith that things will get better between our two countries. I have faith we can get there and that we'll get to a good point where things will be more open. We're neighbors, and neighbors, though we've been at odds, can find common ground. Besaida, a stay-at-home mom, worries about what she's heard about President-elect Trump's criticism of foreigners. Immigrants and Latinos, which are the class that make up the workforce of your country. If it wasn't for Latinos, the country would not move forward. The thing is that with the new government of Mr. Trump, Mr. Republican, we have to wait to see what his administration does. Meantime, Cuba is already welcoming foreigners, including some Texans, who wanted to be on the first direct flight from Houston to Havana in more than 50 years. Very honestly, just to get a chance to see something that's been kind of a dream, um, a faraway place that's 90 miles away that we've only heard about or read about but never truly understood. So why not get to see it and soak it up? And now with the direct flights from Houston, hundreds of Texans and others may visit Cuba for the same reasons. In Havana, Jose Grignan, Fox 26 News.